Good evening, friends. I stand before you with a confession to make. In my vanity, I thought I understood C++ 17. Reality proved me wrong. And this is that story. But first, just a quick little bit of disclosures. Since this is a story about my mistakes, I'm sure there are more. And this is slide code, beware. So, temporary materialization for those watching on YouTube, since I'm sure that everybody here in the room knows exactly what it is, is fairly simple. In C++ 17, uh, if you have a function that returns an expression by value, so a factory, and you assign that return into a variable of that type, then it's exactly the same as though you just assign the result of the expression into that variable. The return path just doesn't exist. Now, this is magic that occurs by the discovery of yet another value category. In this case, the x value. Um, and if we look at what all these are, we find that there is a uh, global L value, which is basically uh, the identity of something more or less real. We have a pure R value, which is a pure platonic ephemeral thing that doesn't actually exist, but can be used to create other things. And we have this X value thing that is an expired value where you can reuse the resources of that value. So think of a mood from object as a typical example. And that leaves us with the traditional L value being a GL value that isn't an X value and an R value. Well, that's a PR value or an X value. So it's basically fairly simple. Now, my problem was this. I had a, a dispatcher or a group of dispatcher types. Uh, they're basically handles to various forms of memory, so they can't be copied, but they have fairly complicated move semantics. And I was storing a number of these things in a vector of unique pointers of them just to keep lifetime not a problem. However, what I found was that when I was constructing that vector, I was getting an awful lot of dispatch and move constructors getting called, which I wasn't expecting. Specifically, if I simplified it, even if I just created a unique pointer with make unique, I would get the move constructor running. And I'm thinking, well, hang on, temporary materialization, shouldn't all that just collapse? Maybe not. So let's simplify. Um, if we look at make unique in this particular implementation, there's two areas where things might go wrong, to my mind. There's the call to new, and there's the perfect forwarding of our thing. So, new, that's probably going to be it, right? Nah. Perfect, no problem, as if it's never called. Temporary materialization really does work. However, as soon as I throw the perfect forwarding in, as in the make function, suddenly, in this case, copy constructors get called, and of course the reason for that is how it hinted. Now, what's really going on here? Well, it turns out that materialization, or the, the creation of the temporary that was getting moved from or copied from, in this case, occurs on the binding of a reference to a PR value, because we're returning a reference. Oops, sorry, game over. Fortunately, there's always more papers and new standards, so there is hope. Um, P527 specifically may well fix this, but there is some uncertainty. Um, depending on whom I've asked, I've gotten yes, no, and maybe. So I'm just gonna wait and see what the implementers do. And please, don't do what I did. Do as I say, read the blogs, watch the videos. Thank you.